with over 150 bars spread across four theme parks, two water parks, 25 resorts, and one shopping plaza. Walt Disney World is arguably one of the best places to grab an adult beverage. And there is one specific cocktail that comes to mind, an espresso martini. Today, I'm sharing my top three espresso martinis at Disney World. What's up, guys? I am here today with my good friends and fellow espresso martini enthusiasts, Ali and Dom. Now, I think between all of us, we have tried just about every espresso martini at Disney World. And after countless hours of consideration, we have all made a top three list that we're gonna be sharing with you guys today. We are gonna be traveling all around the resort today, sharing our top picks. But before we get to all the fun, let's talk about what we think are the requirements to make a good espresso martini. All right, Ali, what makes a good espresso martini for you? So a good espresso martini for me, it's got to have a nice frothy foam on top. If it doesn't have the three beans, I don't want it. Actually, it's like a myth. It's like a urban legend. If it doesn't have three beans on top, it's bad luck, just so everyone knows out there. Um, I like a good, I think I'd like a little bit of creaminess, just a little. And I don't want the espresso to taste too burnt, too sweet in there. It's a nice combination of all three. I am not too picky on whether it's classic or with cream as long as the taste is there. Um, I do like when usually it's a vodka based drink, the vodka shines through a little bit just so you know that you're getting that liquor with your cocktail, but a super strong coffee flavor is what I really enjoy out of it. Personally for me, I want a strong espresso taste. Not only do I want a strong espresso taste, I want a strong alcohol taste. I wanna be able to taste both the espresso and the alcohol in the beverage. Unlike Ali, I do not like any cream in my espresso martinis. I like just like straight black espresso. I love a good thick foam on top and similar to Ali, if it doesn't have three beans, I also don't want it. With all that being said, let's get started on my top three list. We are starting off the day super strong with what I actually think is the number one espresso martini here at Disney World. Of course, we're in Disney Springs at Wine Bar George. Now you see Wine Bar George and you're probably like, oh, I bet they have a great wine selection. And they do, but they also have what I think is the best espresso martini in the game. What makes this espresso martini just that good is that they actually use an alcohol called Pisco, which is an unaged brandy, and they have a special device by the bar where they actually drip the Pisco slowly into infuse with the espresso that they use. It is truly, it's unlike any espresso martini I've ever had before. If you guys have never tried it, you definitely need to come try this. All right, first of many espresso martinis has arrived, and this is one of those beverages that checks all the boxes for me. Every single box is checked. It's strong in espresso taste and liquor taste, very thick foam on top, three beans, no cream, it's delicious. And I can't wait to get my first sip. This is the wake up call. Like I said, it's made with an espresso infused Pisco and espresso liqueur for $18. All right, cheers, Allie. Cheers. First espresso martini of the day. Oh my gosh. It is too good. That is good. One of the best parts for real about this one is that very thick foam that you get on top. I feel like when you get a thick enough foam on top of your espresso martini, you really don't need the cream in your drink. That provides enough creaminess. It is so strong on both the alcohol and the espresso, just like I remembered. It's definitely not for the weak. If you do not like strong coffee, you won't like this. However, I do, and I think this is truly one of the best. It just so happens that the wake up call from here at Wine Bar George is also on Allie's list. What number is it for you? It's on number three. This was a tough call for me. I have so many honorable mentions, uh, but this one is so good. I mean, when you look at it, the foam on the top, the sweetness and the, and the you can taste the alcohol as well. It's just a perfectly well-rounded espresso martini. Had to make the list. It really is. It's just the right amount of sweetness. All that foam on top. I think this is like the foamiest espresso martini at Disney World. It has the thickest yeah, layer of foamy. firm. Oh, uh, yeah, it's so good. And also, if you can't get into the actual restaurant, it's no problem because the walkout bar out there has the full cocktail list, wine list, and food list. So you are good to go in every direction if you'd like this cocktail. We were lucky enough to find a spot at the bar to grab our beverage, take a couple sips of this. We're not getting food here today, although I do really, really love the food here. The fried mac and cheese bites are possibly one of the 
greatest things you could eat at all of Disney World, I believe. Um, so Wine Bar George is just knocking it out of the park on all fronts. The wine, the cocktails, the food, it's all really good here, and especially the wake-up call. And before we go much further into our list, I do want to let you guys know that we will be sharing a lot of the espresso martinis that you see me drink today. I think I would be bouncing off the walls if I had six espresso martinis, or five, because this one was the same. If I had five espresso martinis, I don't think I'd be able to vlog. I'd be, I'd be going crazy over here from all the caffeine. <laughs> Last couple sips here, a lot of that foam left. Honestly, that's the best part. I just love all the foam. One down, many more to go. We have made it over to the Grand Floridian from Disney Springs for my number two espresso martini. This is the second best in my opinion. You're gonna get it from the Enchanted Rose. If you didn't know, the Enchanted Rose is a Beauty and the Beast themed bar located on the second level of the Grand Floridian lobby. It is definitely a unique place to hang out with some very unique craft cocktails, some stuff that you're not gonna find anything like anywhere else across property. Even though I already know what I'm getting, I do wanna take a look at the menu to show you guys some of the unique cocktails and food that they have here. Um, so of course they have some light bites. You can also get some caviar. We're gonna get uh, three ounces, I think we discussed. 100, $120, $120 an ounce. Uh, you I'll in? Get, I'll get the first three ounces. You wanna go for the second? <laughs> yeah, I'll get the second three, you get the first okay. three ounces. Um, and then they also have charcuterie. They always, uh, they have a good seasonal flatbread. I've gotten that a couple of times and I enjoy that. And then the truffle fries are fantastic, but I do gotta say at 1450, they are ridiculously priced for the size, but they are very good. And now for the beverages, they have an island rose. You can see a lot of the ingredients are like kind of un like different and unique. The lavender fog, I know this is a favorite. This is actually what Allie orders here has English breakfast tea, cream, gin, a bunch of different things. More featured cocktails, margaritas, old fashioned. I know, I know some of my friends really enjoy the old fashioned here. Even more martinis and then the espresso martini here, which is what we're getting, of course. There are actually two different ways that you can get your espresso martini here at the Enchanted Rose. They make one with Mozart chocolate liqueur, and that one is very good, however, I think the classic, the way that they normally make it on the menu is just way better. The classic one does have flavors of chocolate and like vanilla, but it's very light. I don't like those flavors to overpower my espresso martini. And I feel like here is a great balance of those two flavors with the espresso. We're gonna try it All out. Right. Our Enchanted Rose Espresso Martini has arrived. This has Stoli Vanilla Vodka, Espresso, and Bowls Cream to Cacao for $16. And honestly, $16 for an espresso martini of this quality quality is quite a steal, especially since the first one we tried today over at Wine Bar George was $18. And you guys probably already know where this is going. The number one thing I love about this espresso martini is of course the heaping amount of foam on top. Let's go for a little sip here. It's just like a little extra bitter from that added chocolate in there. It has just the slightest of chocolate flavors, just the slightest of vanilla flavors. You definitely can't taste as much of the alcohol in this one as you can as the one over at Wine Bar George, but the strong espresso flavor is there. Obviously the foam gives it that creaminess that it needs without the actual like cream-based liqueur in there. An excellent espresso martini in an amazing setting. Like, look at this bar. It's so amazing in here. I just feel so elegant sipping an espresso martini in the Enchanted Rose. It is so elegant in here with the blues and the golds. Call it an enchanted it's an enchanted martini. espresso martini. So we're basically pretty much basing at Allie and Dom's video off of Allie's top three list. Look, she's very, she's very dedicated. Let's chug espresso martinis. But in terms of Dom's top three list, I think this is on his top three list. It just misses Allie's, but it makes his. Yes, this is definitely in my top three. This is going to come in at number three for me. Like Kristen said, there is a little bit of bitterness coming in there, but the coffee flavor is great. You can know the alcohol is there and the setting guys this is just such an elegant and beautiful space to have a drink chat with friends and listen to that piano music just drifting in it's a great place guys great drink eloquently said dominic ali uh what happened your drink doesn't have three espresso beans in it, it has a flour in it you didn't you were sick of our espresso martinis already if i'm coming 
to the Enchanted Rose, I can't not get a Lavender Fog. That drink is just so good. It's so good. I was just telling Dominic, I tried. Let me, let me give it a little sip. This is such a good espresso martini. You can taste the chocolate. I think that this is a really nice taste touch with the chocolate stick on top too. It's such a good espresso martini. But if I'm coming here, I'm getting a lavender fog. You can't wear that hat anymore though. <laughs> yeah, take that Can't hat take off it away from me. Can't take it away. <laughs> but I think now that we're all officially on this espresso martini crawl together, me and Dom should get let's chug espresso martini hats. Where did you get that, Allie? Etsy? Okay, well, Dom, I think we need to order some. <laughs> and I honestly, I can't believe this espresso martini did not make Allie's list. I feel like the espresso martini here at Enchanted Rose is such like a crowd pleaser. I feel like everyone loves it here. Um, and it, it, for the right reasons. I mean, it is absolutely delicious. I'm, sh I'm just shocked it didn't make her list. All right, well, we have officially had my number one espresso martini at Disney World, my number two espresso martini at Disney World. Now we're about to head on over to the boardwalk for my number three espresso martini at Disney World. We have made it to the location of espresso martini number three, the Bellevue Lounge here at the boardwalk. This is kind of like a secret little hidden lobby bar. I feel like not many people know about it, but they should because it's one of my favorite bars here at Disney World. And not only is it one of my favorite bars. They're also serving up, in my opinion, one of the best espresso martinis. The bar as a whole is super cozy and there's so many cool like little knickknacks around, things to look at, the different radios, all the different books. But I decided to bring my beverage outside for the day turned out to be a really nice day. They also have not only just that indoor seating, but they also have a little outdoor patio here where you can overlook the boardwalk. Not only is the Bellevue serving up a great classic espresso martini, but if you happen to come on a day or a night when Megan is working, Ask her about any type of like little secret flavor espresso martini she can make you. Everything she comes up with is usually fantastic. I know during the fall she made a killer pumpkin cream espresso martini. It was so good. Probably my favorite one she's ever made. During the winter she made up a special gingerbread espresso martini which was amazing as well and currently she's doing a little chocolate raspberry situation. Now none of these are on the menu. They're just Megan's creations that she comes up with on her own. So like I said if she's here make sure you ask her what she can do. She usually has some amazing ideas and I, I love seeing what she comes up with. So today I have got myself the chocolate raspberry. Cheers guys. Espresso martini number three. so smooth. Like I've said before, I don't like when the flavor overpowers the flavor of the espresso martini, when the added flavors overpower it. And with any of Megan's creations, they still let the espresso and the vodka shine, but just give like a little bit of an added bonus. This is a great espresso martini, shaken extra long so we got a nice foam on there, three beans. It's a pretty classic marti espresso martini that I don't think you could go wrong with. Anything she comes up with is, like I said, going to be great. very refreshing on this warm day. Well, being one of the best espresso martini makers at Walt Disney World, I wanted to ask Megan a couple questions, maybe pick her brain on some espresso martini stuff. Okay, Megan, the number one thing I wanna know, do you have any espresso martini flavors on the horizon since you're always coming up with so many good ideas? So a fun one that I have an idea for, but I haven't tried it yet, is a banana bread espresso martini. And as soon as she said that, I was like, oh my God, you have to. <laughs> And also, I want to know, where is your favorite espresso martini on property? I have to be biased, and I have to say Trattoria Al Forno, of course, has the second best espresso martini on property other than mine. I'm glad Megan mentioned Trattoria Al Forno, because I did want to talk about some of my honorable mentions, and Trattoria is definitely up there. I love going to Trattoria Al Forno down below on the boardwalk for a classic Italian dinner. Um, and yeah, they have another fantastic espresso martini. It just, just misses the list, but it is very good too. But now that I've shared my top three espresso martinis at Disney World with you guys, I want to hear from all of you. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite espresso martini is here on property. And maybe I haven't tried it and I'll have to try it out next. 
But now that we are done with my top three, we still have two more espresso martinis to get to. We're gonna go over and try some of Ali's top three espresso martinis. We already tried one being Wine Bar George, but we still have two more stops to make. We have made our way into Animal Kingdom to begin Allie's list of her top three espresso martinis. Her number one espresso martini is gonna be at a place that we frequent pretty often on this channel. It's actually at the Nomad Lounge. All right, Allie, tell me what we are drinking for your number one espresso martini. This espresso martini right here, they put Amarulo liqueur in it. So it's actually like an African liqueur. Um, the server at Nomad Lounge one time recommended it to me, asked if I wanted it their way, just like they do at the Enchanted Rose. And I said, absolutely. Uh, the sea turtle has now disappeared, but usually they put animals on top in coffee beans, which is such a fun touch aside from the amazing flavor so let's give it a little a little taste that is just so incredibly good it's untouchable i can't wait for you to try it kristen because it blows all the other ones out of the water so I have had this espresso martini once before, but I only tried a sip of my friends. I know Allie's been raving about it for so long and I just haven't gotten one for myself, but today is the day that I take more than just a sip of this espresso martini. All right, Allie's number one. The flavor is definitely very good. There is a strong espresso flavor. There is also a strong liquor flavor. However, my only issue with it is that I don't love cream-based espresso martinis. However, in a world of cream-based espresso martinis, I say this is definitely up there as one of the best, but I just prefer like a black espresso martini with no cream whatsoever in it. I will say the animal on top is definitely an amazing touch that they add here. It's definitely good. And if you like cream-based espresso martinis, Come over to the Nomad Lounge and grab this one. We are currently here at the Boathouse, also in Disney Springs, to get her number two espresso martini. And before we get much further into the video, I wanna make sure you guys know that my friends, Allie and Dom, actually have a brand new YouTube channel, Allie and Dom's Wild Ride. They're filming a video today as well. Yes, Mr. Toad from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. What can they expect from your channel? So we are also Orlando locals, uh, newlyweds as well. Yes. So we will be sharing all of our theme park love. Dom has a lot of knowledge to give about the parks. So people tell me. Yes, and I also have celiac, so I'll be showing all of my gluten-free finds that I found around the Orlando area. So yes, make sure you guys go give them a follow. I'm going to put the link to their channel in the description below this video. So head over there, give them a follow, Allie and Dom's Wild Ride, and keep up with their adventures too. I know you guys have seen them in like a lot of my videos. Dom is great at giving food reviews. Allie is super knowledgeable and fun as well. So yeah, make sure you give them a follow so you guys can see what they're up to too. Okay, so Allie, I want you to tell me about your number two espresso martini at the boathouse. Absolutely. This espresso martini, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, sitting here on this water, I think that the vibes of this bar have to do with my, my choice of this amazing espresso martini as well. But it's so delicious. I was watching them make it. They put a little vanilla in there that gives it just enough sweetness. Uh, it's nice and you can taste the coffee, you can taste the alcohol, and of course the three beans on top. Uh, you can't beat drinking an espresso martini on the water. It's just perfect. And it also helps when it's not summertime and it's like a high 70s, low 80s kind of night with that low humidity. It's, I mean, guys, look at this. Bonus points, bonus points for sure. <laughs> For me personally, this espresso martini just misses my top three list. It's up there as an honorable mention, but it just misses my list. And the main reason for that is I feel like it never has enough foam on top. As you can see, this is a very important thing for me when it comes to espresso martinis. And this one just usually doesn't have a lot of foam on it. However, when you have the best bartender and you let him know that it just missed your top three list because there's not a lot of foam, he might just shake it extra well so there's even more foam than ever on top. So this, like if it was always made like this, I feel like it would be up there for me, but this is like an exception because we're friends with the bartender. <laughs> and if you guys do come down to the boathouse and you see Jason, make sure you tell him I said hi. This is definitely the best espresso martini I've had at the boathouse. The foam makes a complete difference for me. I feel like this is on the sweeter side of espresso martinis. You can taste a little bit of like 
ch chocolate vanilla flavor almost. I get a little bit of a chocolate flavor. Um, for an espresso martini at Disney, this is one of the sweeter ones, but I, I, I don't mind that much sweetness because you do still have a very strong espresso and alcohol flavor. It's good, it just, just misses by a hair. You know what would make this espresso martini better? A duck. It's like our friend <laughs> Quack. Shout out to my Patreon subscribers, Angela, Ashley, Barbara, the Cal Kane's family, Catherine, Lindsay, Misty, Shelby, Adam, and Jen, and Brittany, Karis, Chelsea, Carol, Daniela, Marcel, Dante, Dustin, and Nancy, Emily, Ethan, John, Paul, Christina, Leah, Tori, Lisa, the Martell family, Michael, Pickle, the Latham, Thomas family, Tracy, Wayne, Jermaine, Eric, the Weaver family, Janet and Gary, Stephen, Andrea, Jessica, the Leibowitz family, Abigail and Robin, and Jamie and Andrew. This is going to do it for our espresso martini crawl of Walt Disney World. Thank you all so much for watching and make sure you all hit that subscribe button so you can see what beverage I'm sipping on next.